Little Texas, kick a little on Eagle Country, 95-9-96-3-809. Jay Williams and Paul James on the Eagle Country Wake Up. We have a guest on the phone. He's a speaker, podcaster, and author. Of course, he just wrote a recent book. It is called Food Fear. He is coming to Bison, South Dakota, July 9th in an event hosted by Bison Egg Supply, Brad and Kristen Seidel. And, of course, it's an event for the Bison Egg Supply Partners. Ladies and gentlemen, speaker, podcaster, author, Mr. Damian Mason. Welcome to the Eagle Country Wake Up, Damian. Hi, Jay and Paul. Thanks for having me on. Uh, it's our pleasure. Hey, uh, start by telling us what the purpose of your visit is to Bison on July 9th. The purpose of my visit is the purpose of Bison Ag Supply. They are bringing in their customers, their business partners, people that make their business possible uh, as a thanks. And they're going to give them uh, some drinks and dinner, but they also are going to hear from me. I speak at agricultural business functions all over North America, and I am going to talk about what's going on in ag, what what big picture stuff is impacting our industry, and then also we're going to keep it uh, a little bit light because I actually have a background in comedy as well as agriculture, so I'm going to make sure that for an evening function that uh, we'll make it worth your while. It's not all it's not all 100% business. There's going to be some levity. Uh, for the to reward the good, hardworking people of of uh, South Dakota agriculture. All right, uh, Damien, can you give us a sneak peek as to what's going on right now on the consumer landscape? Yeah, you know, the the consumer in the United States of America has been pretty spoiled for a long time. They never had to really think about uh, food, and certainly every year the food price went down. Right, that's been mm-hmm. our big thing: is that every year you're spending less of your income on food. And that's a great thing in the United States of America. In fact, we're the cheapest food in the world. Well, this thing started changing just a couple of years ago, as I'm sure you two noticed. And when you go to your grocery store there in Rapid City, uh, things are more expensive. In fact, starting with the whole COVID thing, shutdowns, supply chain, et cetera, et cetera, everything you've heard in the news, you went to the grocery store and there wasn't even toilet paper. Or maybe there for a while you went in, you're like, wait a minute, there's been like a run on French fries. Or where, where's all the cereal? Right, so yeah. the consumer never had to even think about that. So ag is more in the main street focus than it probably has been in at least 100 years, right? Right, oh. Um, so I think that what we're going to see and what's going to what's going to come of this is we've got a consumer right now that's kind of pushed a little bit. Uh, gas prices, home prices, everything they spend money on, they they got to spend more on it, and food. So I think we're going to see this might be actually a good thing for agriculture in that we might see kind of like right now it's like, hey, you know what, pump more gas. Maybe it's going to be like, hey, stop trying to regulate agriculture. Stop, stop getting <laughs> – Stop doing anything that's going to mess with my my dinner plate. So I think it actually could be a real good turning point for us in production ag. Now, does your book, Food Fear, kind of dovetail just what you've talked about? Yeah, it does, because, you know, food is a a political and a religious sort of uh, statement for many people. You you know, you see these, I don't understand veganism. I don't understand, you know, as I was pointing out, there's no such thing as a happy vegetarian. How the hell could you be, right? (laughs) So... (laughs) <laughs> these, these, these people that uh, they adopt food as their cause, and then they want to impose that onto others, and that's kind of another big thing that's going on. You know, from Bill Gates, who I believe is quite sinister, who is pushing fake meat because it's his investment, and he's doing it, doing it under the guise of climate change. So my book, Food Fear, delves into that a lot. How beware of people coming to save us. And and uh, tell us they're, they're they're protecting our dinner when really they're protecting their investment. Bill Gates is a great example of that. Absolutely. And and uh, Damien, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what folks uh, coming uh, can expect to hear. Yes, yeah, so we're going to do all those kinds of things, but then we're also going to keep it light and and, and lighthearted and fun. So I'll give you a big picture, uh, thirty thousand foot view of the Asians impacting agriculture, things like population, immigration, innovation, and inflation, as well as regulation. And then we're also going to, again, we're going to look at the light, uh, light side of things also, so that we make it fun. So it's a nice mixture of uh, everything from agricultural economics to thirty thousand foot view of food and the consumer, and then bringing it back to you, the producer, the agricultural professional in northwest south dakota and then like i said we'll make sure that it's got enough entertainment value so that nobody goes home and says boy that sure was a boring webinar (laughs) (laughs) what's Uh, i got a question for you and i don't know 
What's your view of, you know, you talk about the world's, you know, food and Americans' view in food. What, uh, I guess, is this whole Russia-Ukraine thing, what is this doing to the world's food and, and exports and imports when it comes to a lot of their food that uh, is generated, wheat in particular? Uh, what's your view on that? The view on that is we never even had to think too much about that. The last time we even really thought much about and I'm talking about Main Street, not necessarily us that really are in the business of ag, but we never really thought much about Russia. You know, 1980, 81, Jimmy Carter pulls the grain embargo, and all of a sudden people are like, what the hell's happening here? You know, our prices went uh, went down. Yep. That was a big trade dispute, you know, 40-some years ago. What's going on right now? Russia realizes this is as old as let them eat cake. Food can be weaponized. Food can be a bargaining chip. Food can be a tool of negotiation, and Putin understands this. All these folks running around saying, you know, you know, Jay and Paul, they're like, oh, that Putin guy, he's insane. He's not insane. He's, he's what a dictator that wants to expand his empire does, and food is part of that. They're hoarding food. They're uh, stealing grain shipments from Ukraine to fund their own war machine. This is something that's been going on. You know, Hitler did this kind of thing. This has been going on for a long time. What's the travesty is 20% of the world's caloric intake is wheat-based. And I want you to just think about that for a second. Yeah. Twenty one fifth, one fifth of the world's caloric intake is wheat-based. Mm -hmm. We in the United States don't think like that. We're probably about the same here. Maybe we're a little less with the low carb. But the point is there's a bunch of folks in poorer countries that don't eat steak, that don't have McDonald's. And they are going to be really pushed because of this wheat shortage that is happening in places like the Middle East and in uh, North Africa. And there will be an increase in global hunger, which we have been bringing down for a long time. We in the United States are pretty grateful. We are going to be skinny on wheat. Our, our Western crop is dry. we got less supply. But we're going to hold up better than the poorer countries oh, who sure. will depend on Ukraine and Russia. Fantastic. Yeah, right. yeah, that 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 is good news. But, uh, you know, ominous things on the horizon, and you're going to address those. Uh, uh, Damien, thanks so much for your time today. And, uh, again, Damien Mason, speaker, podcaster, author, speaker on ag issues in Bison, July 9th, hosted by Bison Egg Supply. Damien, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time this morning, and I hope all goes well next Saturday night. Appreciate you having me. I'm looking forward to my trip to Bison. You know what? If you're an ag person in northwest South Dakota, I want to see you there.